Well, hello there, ladies and gents. I'm Tammy Sipnewski. Thank you so much for popping back to my channel. In one of my earlier videos, I had done a signature that almost looked at like a neon sign. It was really cool. And whenever I do anything new in the videos, you guys always ask how I've done it. So because I've gotten to know you so well, in anticipation of the questions, I'm going to go ahead and make a tutorial on how I did that. Now, the great thing about this is it's a free app called Joy Doodle. I found this app because my niece and nephew, when they were younger, like to fool around with the iPad and draw things on the iPad. So this is actually a kid app. If you want something bright or if you want to use a special effect, like outline something in uh, fluorescent or any kind of writing, this is going to be a good app that's free and it has a lot of different options to use as far as screening goes. So we can write on a black screen or we can write on a green screen. So normally we would put it on a green screen, but now that LumaFusion has added those blending modes, we can go ahead and feel confident with putting it on the black screen that we're gonna be able to get that to work too. But it has a bunch of different colors when it comes to screen. So let's go ahead and jump into uh, I guess teaching you how to figure out the kids app, Joy Doodle. Okay, so after you've downloaded Joy Doodle from the App Store, let's go ahead and launch it. So this is the first screen that you're going to be greeted with. Unfortunately, it can never go into landscape mode, so it's always going to stay in this portrait mode. And if you're launching it for the very first time, it's going to ask you to have access to your photo roll. Go ahead and allow it. This way, whenever you save something, it's going to go directly into your photo rolls. So let's go ahead and hit New. On the bottom of the screen are the different icons that we can work with. And there's the paintbrush. This is going to be the eraser. There is an undo button. There's a play button and also a camera icon. So if you hit that camera icon, it's going to take a screen grab of whatever's written on the black here. Up in the left-hand corner, there is a garbage can icon where you can throw your screen away without having to erase it. Now, the great thing about that garbage can icon, right now we are going to work with the black screen because we can now that LumaFusion has those great blending modes that they've added to their program. But let's say that you want to work with something in a green screen. You would just keep tapping that garbage can until it peels away to your green screen and you can work with that as well. But I want to stay with the black one so we are going to get back to that one. So let's go ahead and hit the paintbrush. These are all the different type of painting options that we have to work with, and there are a ton. And these little special effects ones are pretty cute too. I think they're more for stamping. You can't really write anything with them. It would be completely indecipherable. So let's go ahead and go to the this little glittery one. Well, let's go ahead. Let me go ahead and show you what this looks like. Okay, so it looks like something that was written with a sparkler. So if that's what you would want, that's the one that you would use. But let me go ahead and get the eraser, make it as big as I can, and just erase this. Let me go back to the paintbrushes. And I think I just want to use the very first one, which is like the neon sign type of paintbrush. Okay, now let's discuss the unfortunate limitations of Joy Doodle. Because it's a kid app and because it's free, there are a few limitations. One is that you can't choose the color that you're working with. Two is the fact that whenever you lift your pencil off of the iPad, it's immediately going to change up the color. So whenever you choose the different paintbrush that you want to work with, the first thing that you wanna do at the bottom of the screen is to make a key and just continue to draw lines. This way you can see the different colors that are popping up. Okay, so gr I've gotten to green, so I know the next one is going to be that blue, and then the next one is going to be a purple, and the next one is going to be pink, and that's the one that I want to work with. So what I wanna do right now is begin a screen recording. So how we launch that is to just take our finger and swipe on the upper left-hand side of the screen, and we are going to hit the record icon. And we're just gonna tap it again to make it move. So now there's going to be a screen recording of whatever we begin to write on the screen. So let me go ahead and just write my name. Now, obviously when you, oh, and I messed up, I lift, shucks, did you see what I did? I inadvertently lifted my pencil up because it's natural to do that. And let me go ahead and just make a new key. 
So whenever you're working, make sure if you want to stick with the very same color to leave your pencil on the iPad. Okay, that looks good. Okay, so now, well, let me just, being that we're in this app, let me go ahead and show you just some of the other different paintbrush options that we have. So, of course, the first one was the neon sign one. There's, this one is pretty cool. That one is basically the same thing as that one. Another one that's less of a neon sign and more of like a marker. Here's another dotted one. This one's pretty cool, too. This varies up the colors. This one is cool too. I do like that one. This is like a chalk, this one. And the sparkler one, this is pretty cool. So these other ones are more like stamps, like the snowflakes. If you wanted to just, you know, get a couple of images of cute little snowflakes, this would be great to have. Or if you want some of fireworks, this is another good one to have. Let's say if you just wanted to make an overlay of this bursting firework, you could do that and, you know, throw it into LumaFusion from there. Okay, so let's go ahead and launch LumaFusion. So let's go ahead and retrieve that from our camera roll. So I want to get to that flower icon for photos. And let's go to recently added and it should be at the very top. Here we go. So let's just pull this clip right down onto the timeline. And we are going to just clip away right where the name begins and we'll throw the rest of that away because we don't need it. Go to the very beginning. We're going to double tap on that and let's go to cropping. So what we wanna do, actually size and position, because what we wanna do is spin it to get it to where it's straight across. That looks good, and we wanna play it out to where we know it ends. This way, we wanna position it just so. There we go, and now we wanna to go to cropping, and just crop it to where we are trimming out all of the unnecessary attributes. So there we go. So let's go ahead and watch it. And there you go, you get the picture. But let's say that we want to use this, not like that, but on top of a video. So let me go ahead and grab a video, just throw it down on the timeline. So let's say that we wanna have this, oh, also trim away this unwanted end here. Let's say that we want to have this appear not on a black screen, but on top of an actual video. So what we need to do is put that on top of the video and then double tap on the name. And now we're going to go to the blending modes. And now we are going to choose, I think it's, is it Lanier Dodge? Lanier Dodge, there we go. And that's how you would get that on top of an existing video. How cute is that app, you guys, right? It's super cute and it works perfectly along with LumaFusion thanks to those blending modes. Listen, if Santa is bringing your kids an iPad or an iPhone this year, this would be a really great app to install on there for them. It's kind of like uh, the 2020 version of the Lightbrite. And if you're my age, you're gonna remember what the light bright was. Well, if you have any questions about the video, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Or if you have requests for future videos, please leave those requests as well. I'll get to them just as soon as I possibly can. I thank you so much for joining me and until next time, wear your sunblock.